Today I will bring you the list of the most expensive red wines in the world. Exclusive brands and exquisite flavors mark the price to pay for the perfect wine to fit your luxury lifestyle. From Bordeaux to Napa Valley, the art of producing wine is being more and more respected and appreciated as it should be. It isn't just an aspiration to a connoisseur's taste that drives one to buy a bottle of expensive wine. With prices that can pay the mortgage for months, if not the entire loan, these vintage wines are a good investment. CNBC reported that fine wines are in fact, one of the best performing luxury assets with values reaching up to 25% last year, according to the Knight Frank Luxury Investment Index. It topped art, jewelry, coins and other luxury assets by a mile in this graph. A couple of years ago, it came up with the most expensive red wines list consisting mainly of collector's items. Fine wines do age better in time and their prices can only go north. Expectedly, these rare editions are still the most expensive red wines in the world today. However, for the average wine investor, the chances of getting hold of one of these wines is impossible. Either these wines are not for sale, one of a kind, one knocked over and lost, or hoarded by a super billionaire somewhere. These vintage reds are expensive but available in the market. With enough sleuthing you can get a hold of one since their estates produced a limited number of bottles on the marked year. So here we go, let us discover the top 10 most expensive and vintage red wines in the world. Number 10. Domaine Leroy Rich Bug Grand Gru, 1949. With a price tag of $5,921. The estate produces excellent Pinot Noir using the biodynamic production method. Madame Laubai's Leroy is the owner and the driving force behind the Leroy Empire. Production is exclusive to the wealthy enough to afford the limited wines. Only 700 bottles per year trops are made. Rich Bug is regarded for its full-bodied, muscular Pinot Noir and can be sold for years. They make excellent collection, while, at its low-end price on our list, the wine can be consumed to impress even on casual days. The year was the driest since 1893 in the region and harvest was influenced by erratic weather patterns. Flowering was under cold, wet conditions, greatly reducing yields. Adding to the allure of this vintage is its post-World War appeal, lending to it a historical essence and more perceived value. Number 9. Domaine Leroy Chambert in Grand Cru 1990. With price tag of $7,447. The estate is a solid brand in the most expensive wine space. A little pricier than its 1949, but the 1990 is harvested from the exclusive Pinot Noir vineyards of Chambert in Grand Cru. Domain Leroy's reds are regarded for its deep scent of red cherries, plums, earth and sweet spice. Adding more vintage air to this wine, Napoleon is known to drink Chambert in wine, favoring its rich ruby hue not unlike what you get from the 1990 vintage. Number 8. Domaine Georges and Christophe Rumia Musini Grand Cru 1990. With a price tag of $11,720. A Pinot Noir from La Musini Vineyard at the heart of Burgundy, the vintage traces its roots to a young lad who married a local Musini girl in 1924. The man received as dowry sections of the Chambo Musini vineyards and from there, Domain Georges and Christophe Rumia was born. The story has nothing to do with the vintage's flavor for sure, but it adds a nice romantic ring to this nectar of love, however you put it. What you'll be interested more is the fact that only 380 bottles at most are produced yearly. The year was very hot although flowering was less compared to 1989. The minimal yield. Experts said, gave the grapes more concentration, flavor, thicker skins and plenty of tannin. So when you see one of these bottles in a friend's cellar, go for it and ask for goose, duck or game bird for dinner, which the wine goes well with. Number 7. Domaine Leroy Musini Grand Cru 2012. With a price tag of $14,436. The Musini vintage is described as magical with layered minerality. 
Some describe it as a sumptuous cornucopia of flowers, gentle and delicate with silky tannins. Although 2012 wasn't the perfect harvest season in Burgundy with a few spring frosts, irregular flowering and late spring hailstorms, the dry, hot summer tailend provided created a robust flavor for this vintage. Going by the estate's reputation, this wine is no doubt worth its every drop. Number 6. Domaine de la Romani Conti. Romani Conti Grand Cru 1990. With a price tag of $21,216. Widely regarded as one of the world's best wine producers, the estate, referred to in the circle as DRC, earns the best spot on our list for expensive but available vintage reds. The year 1990 was a well-balanced year, dry but cool spring followed by hot summer and rains in September. It's a condition that lent to harvest rich healthy grapes with good yields. Moreover, the last 15 years had been excellent for DRC, owning the best performing wine from the region. The estate soared by 298% on the Burgundy 150 index over the same period, cementing its claim to fame. DRC Reds are considered by the Clive Coates as the purest, most aristocratic and most intense example of Pinot Noir. We can only assume the 1990 variety tops that. The next bottles are the most expensive collector's red wines. These wines are priced uniquely per bottle, meaning, the wines are one of a kind, hence, they are a collector's dream. Number 5. Penfolds Grange Hermitage 1951. With a price tag of $38,420. The most expensive Australian wine, Penfolds Grange Hermitage 1951 set the record when a wine collector in May 2004 bought it in an auction at MW Wines in Adelaide, South Australia. Only 20 bottles are known in existence. The wine is predominantly Shiraz with a touch Cabernet Sauvignon and regarded as one of Australia's finest wines. Number 4. Cheval Blanc 1947, Saint Emilion, with a price tag of $135,125. This vintage is one of the only two wines granted class a status in the classification of Saint Emilion wine. The 3-litre bottle was bought in 2006 at Vinfolio in San Francisco for the record-worthy price. Only 110,000 bottles were produced and a few have survived to this day. The blend is 50 hours 50 minutes Cabernet Franc and Merlot. It is considered by sommeliers as the finest Cheval Blanc in the 20th century, exuding rich, volatile acidity with lush texture and a sensual flavor. The harvest year was marked by hot weather with temperatures soaring to 35 degrees Celsius, yielding generous crops with high natural sugar levels. Number 3. Chateau Lafayette 1787 with a price of $156,450. The most expensive standard bottle of wine, this vintage is believed to be from Thomas Jefferson's cellar. A THJ initials are etched in the glass. The third president and one of the founding fathers was an ambassador to France and he's said to spend much time visiting the Bordeaux and Burgundy vineyards for his wine collection. Some experts are skeptical of the 1787 story though, but that didn't bother the publisher tycoon Malcolm Forbes, who bought it in 1985. The wine's age is enough to land it in any most expensive wine list. Jefferson is such a collector that he's associated with other expensive vintages, a 1775 Sherry for $43,500, a 1787 Chateau de Camp for $56,588, and I next on this list. Number 2. Chateau Margaux 1787 with a price of $225,000 said to be the most expensive wine unsold, it's another collection from Jefferson. No money can buy this now, a waiter knocked it over during a Margox dinner at the Four Season Hotel. Talk about spoiling centuries of waiting and speculating. The owner, New York wine merchant, William Sokolin valued it at $500,000. 
a price that had since been devalued to just $225,000, the amount paid by insurers for the spilled wine. Number 1. Screaming Eagle Cabernet 1992 with a price tag of $500,000. The most expensive red wine still belongs to this vintage, a surprisingly young wine, a 6-liter bottle of Cabernet from Napa Valley. The wine arguably won by technicality when it fetched for charity the record-smashing price at the Napa Valley Wine Auction in 2000. Still, this bottle is for keeps and now worth its price for topping many most expensive wine lists over the years and gaining the world's attention in the process. The region, the most prestigious in the New World, is famous for Napa Cab, a rich, oak-aged aroma range laced with black currant, licorice, vanilla, boysenberry and smoky dark chocolate. And there you have it. The 2020 list of the world's most expensive red wines. Before we end this video I will show you one more expensive red wine. A unique one of a kind and rarest of all. When it comes to pricey wine investments, stupendously expensive doesn't even begin to describe the Penfold Zample. One of 12 limited edition sculptural wine vessels crafted by Fortrop artists to contain the wine producer's 2004 Block 42 Kalima, Cabion Sauvignon. Each ample, or container, fetches about $174,000. So what is it exactly? The ample containing this particularly rare wine was created by master glass below a ray leak, while the glass object encasing it, a grey glass plum bob with a blood red cotton reel top, is the handiwork of glass artist Nick Mount. The ample and sculpture is then suspended in a custom made Jarrah cabinet by furniture maker Andrew Bartlett, with precious metal detailing work by Hendrik Foster. There's more to it than just 100 point wine in the collaboratively handmade old Jadar. Uncorking the ample requires an entire opening service, complete with a visit from a Penfolds winemaker who will ceremoniously remove and unseal the ample. Why anyone would actually want to do that is beyond us, as this seems more like a piece of art that happens to contain wine, rather than wine contained in a dispensable piece of art. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Cheers.